were talking about quantities and the various words in Ulster Scots for amounts. And where better to discuss this than on a farm? For a word in your lug today, we're at the Ark Open Farm near Newton Ards in County Down. And Liam, I see today you've pitched up at the pigsty. This is where I'm most comfortable, Jane. Would you say that this is a wheen of piglets? Well, initially I thought, you're right, that was a wheen of piglets. But there's so many of them, I'd say that's more like a brave wheen of piglets. How do you tell the difference between a wheen or a brave wheen? It's a matter of judgement. So it's a case of when you know, you know. When you know, you know. We've moved on from the pigs and now we're here with the pygmy goats. How many would you say are in the pen here? I would say that's a wheen in there, Jane. But there's only two or three baby goats, or two or three kids. Two or three, does that literally mean two or three? Yes, that's about right, two or three, but it can also stretch to four, maybe. Once again, it's the great inexactitude of the Ulster Scots way of talking about amounts. I like to think of it as fluidity, Jane. Good word, Liam, good word. Hello, Fluffy. You are a lovely boy. You're gorgeous. Liam, we've seen a queer queen of animals at the farm here today, and we're going to finish off with all these, these lovely sheep. Would you say there's a lot of sheep in the field? Well, you could say there's a lot of sheep, but I'd be more inclined to say there's a clatter of sheep there, Jane. And what's the difference between a lock and a clatter? In my opinion, lock applies to inanimate objects and clatter applies to living things. So you could say a lock of pints or a lock of pound, for example. Very good example. Well, from a clatter sheep here at the Ark Open Farm near Newton Arts, we'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.